Hi, Jamie here. Thank you for taking a couple of minutes to watch this video. I know if you're watching, you have a lot going on right now. You probably have so many unanswered questions because it is a lot. You're going through this tremendous change in your life. And if you have kids, it makes it so much harder. I understand that as to the attorneys at my firm, and we're here to help. But first, I want to provide you with the basics when it comes to custody. I find often just having this information can be immensely helpful. So let me give you some particulars. There's two types of custody in New Jersey. There's legal custody and physical custody. What is legal custody? Legal custody is decision making, and it's the major things. I'm going to give you a few examples. It's religious upbringing, it's school, medical decisions. It's the core foundation of who your child is. It's making decisions that are in the best interest and welfare of your child. And then there's physical custody. Physical custody is parenting time. What is going to be the schedule for your child? Where are they going to sleep on any given night? What is the overnight going to be between you and your co-parent? Those are the two types of custody in New Jersey. So the other type of custody in New Jersey is physical custody, and that's all about parenting time. And this is not a one size fits all solution. You have to consider what is best for your family. In making that determination, you have to think about the age of your child or children, what particular sports are they involved in? What educational activities are they doing? What is their school schedule? These are all things that a court is going to consider and you as parents need to consider because frankly, nobody knows your children better than you and your co-parent. A question I get from most of my clients is how are these custody determinations made? Well, frankly, it's a factual analysis, but either you're going to decide with your co-parent via a voluntary agreement, or you're gonna let the courts decide your fate. Of course, reaching an agreement between you and your co-parent is a better option. Frankly, you don't want somebody who doesn't know you, but more importantly, doesn't know your kids to make these major decisions that are gonna impact your day-to-day -day and your children's day-to-day. -day. So what do you need to do? You need to talk to an attorney who does this day in and day out and understands the factors that a court's gonna consider in making these difficult custody determinations. Honestly, the best option is that you never get this issue before a judge because you and your co-parent are able to come together and make decisions that are in your child's best interest. But understanding the law and the custody factors that a court's gonna consider is so important. I know this is difficult. I mean, it impacts your children, so how could it not be? That's why talking to an experienced family law attorney and getting the information that you need is going to help you and ease your mind. We're here to provide that assistance. So as soon as you're ready, just pick up the phone, schedule a meeting with one of our attorneys, because I promise once you do, you will feel at ease.